Hey guys, Andrew here with Aloha Quails. Today we're going to look at getting meat from your quails. So I've got a lot of guys in here um, that aren't laying eggs because they're guys. So we're going to take them and we're going to send them to freezer camp. Okay guys, so this is your warning. So this is going to be a graphic video. This video is going to include the how to take a live quail and turn it into a dead quail. Um, just so that it's ready to prepare for food. So if you don't want to see that, feel free to click the link which is on your screen right now. That'll take you over to the video. Same video, just minus that part. Um, and it's just, you know, some people don't want to see that, but they still want to know how to process the quail. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that you're clear. I am going to be harvesting an animal from li a live animal in this video. Okay, so here we have a jumbo Courtney's quail that we're going to go ahead and process. Um, this is a live quail. So this is your last warning if you don't want to see this click away now um, there's one main method of harvesting a quail and it's decapitation so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the head um, some people like to use a tool some people like to just do the pull method um, both work very 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 well I prefer I prefer personally using the pull method um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it with a tool when you're holding your quail you want to make sure that you have your hand firmly around it so your thumb over both wings your fingers coming underneath pushing the legs back that will immobilize it stop it moving around too much you want to make sure if you're using a knife that you're using a long sharp knife um, and the reason for that is it gives you enough leverage to do that cut through and when you cut you want to do the roll through so you want to push down cut and then push forward if you're using scissors again make sure they're sharp make sure that they're long enough and that they're actually going to cut through it the worst thing that you can do is try to use a pair of kitchen scissors or um, shears and they're not strong enough to actually cut through the bone um, you know be prepared that if you do go that way that you might end up using the pull method anyway so as I said you want a long sharp knife you're going to place the blade in front of your quail you're going to use the edge of the blade to pull its neck out straight and then all you're going to do is push down and push away from you the head's di disconnected and then we're going to push it away. Um, so you can see that there's some connective tissue there. That was um, the throat that was still connected. I'd cut through the bone, severed the spine already. Um, there was just some connective tissue that didn't come off as easy. Um, once you've cut through it, you can invert it. Um, I like to do it into a bag in my sink and just give it 20, 30 seconds. That'll let the blood come out of it um, and you'll feel you know, after 20, 30 seconds, there's no more twitching, no more moving. So there's your processed quail. I'm going to go ahead and show you the pull method now. Um, it's the way that I prefer. It's a lot cleaner than using a knife. As you can see with a knife, although this knife is razor sharp, um, because there is bone, it doesn't always get through all of the connective tissue on the backside. Okay, guys, so I have another quail that we're going to go ahead and process. Um, I'm going to show you the pull method now. For me, this is my preferred method. It's a lot quicker. It's a lot cleaner. Um, you know, as I said, with using a knife, it, it does do its job. Um, but unlike with a chicken where you're pulling on the neck and cutting through it, you can't do that with a quail unless you put it in a cone, which just takes more time. This is the cleanest method that I know for doing this. Um, so again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hold the quail with its legs tucked back behind your hand. You're going to put your thumb across its wings, the rest of your hand underneath the breast, um, and just hold on to it tight. You're going to take your other hand, you're going to cover over its head and grab its neck, and then all you're going to do is pull apart with both hands, and the head just comes straight off. As I said, it is a much quicker, a much cleaner method um, of killing. Um, you do tend to get a little more, a bit more um, blood uh, spraying out as you can see um, but that being said that's part of harvesting an animal so again once you've pulled the head off or separated the head turn it upside down for 10 to 20 seconds um, the blood will drain out pretty quickly they don't have that much blood and the body will stop twitching and then once that's done um, you can go ahead and process them um, which I'm going to show you how to do now okay guys so here we have a quail that's ready to be processed for meat um, 
real real simple real real easy to do i do the skinning method and i also butterfly it it's just because it is the quickest method and it's the easiest method so your first step is to take a pair of kitchen scissors and cut the wings off real real easy there's no meat on the wings so there's no point in keeping them I'm just going to snip them off next to the body your next step is to take your feet and cut just above the knee they should come off real simple as you can see this one has an orange tag on it all that tells me is what generation these are so i tagged all my quails when they hatch with different colors before they go outside um, and that just lets me know how old they are so i can expect when to replace them because as they get older the amount of eggs they lay decreases so we're just going to cut that off and then all we're going to do is grab a tuft of skin um, below the breast and all we're going to do is just snip into that and all you're doing is just creating an opening that you can get your fingers into so you can see the meat underneath and then all you're going to do is peel the skin off it's real real easy real real simple um, it'll mostly come off in one piece and then you're just pulling on it you can see there's some fat there um, if you don't like the fat on your bird you can cut it off or snip it off with a pair of scissors this is a little bit of an older bird so you can see it's got a little a uh, vein of fat on its legs there. I'll trim all that off later. Then all you're going to do is just pull it off. The hardest part is right here above the tail. Um, the skin tends to be attached a little bit better. It's a little bit thicker. Um, as long as you get all the way on it, you'll peel it all off. And then around the legs. And then the only part of the hair that the only part of the feathers that doesn't really come off, sorry, is uh, right here by the tail. Uh, but that doesn't matter because we're going to cut that off anyway when we uh, take the innards out. So once I've got it like this, I like to give it a rinse. That just removes any of the loose feathers uh, and makes this next step just a little easier. clean this up a little okay so all you're gonna do is take your kitchen scissors put it on one side of the spine and you're just gonna cut all the way down then you're gonna take them put them on the other side and then cut all the way down and then pull the spine down out of the way and there's your insides and all you're gonna do is gonna put your fingers at the very top behind everything and work your fingers down inside there and pretty much everything will pull out as one piece. And then all you're going to do is take your scissors, go behind your back leg and cut one side, go the other side. And then where it's just attached, trim across. And that takes all of your insides out in one go along with the spine and then all you're going to do is just rinse and clean up inside um, you might have some long inside and just rinse that'll all come out and then you'll have a clean bird So you might find a few feathers um, just stuck to the outside um, they'll just pluck off if you don't like these fatty parts they'll just pull off the bonds parts that don't you can just trim it um, it all depends on what you're going to be using the meat for um, you know if you're just feeding it raw feed to your uh, animals leave it on um, it's great for them if you want to cook them up you might want to take it off some of it's a little bit more stubborn and you can just trim this off with a pair of scissors give it one more rinse and there you go guys one prepared quail ready to eat i'm gonna put this into a ice water bath um, just to chill it down before we take them and then what we'll do is once i've got them in a group of four we'll freezer bag it put it in the freezer for using later 
um, it's just the best way to store them. So that's how to process your quails. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.